Chef Fish on tape, Kono in LA, President. Hey, money on the way, money on the way. It's your boy D Saul again with another episode of Money Talk Mondays. And today we're talking about that big old pain. That big old pain, pain, man. We're talking about pain. Pain is temporary, but pain is necessary pain is inevitable pain is here and we need to be ready for it when it comes so we're going to talk about pain today we're going to talk about why it's necessary we're going to talk about what all it affects and what we can do to cope with it right um and y'all know it's three cycles you know if you if you hear me talk you, you hear me talk about three different cycles that we always face in life and that's the pain that's overcome that's overcoming that pain and the third one is just that moment that that moment where we get to celebrate that moment when we made it that moment where everything is success is accomplished right we're going to talk about all three cycles so this is the first of that series we're going to talk about pain but before we get all into the into into the pain we're going to talk a little bit about me and what i've been up to um i've been in a funk lately oh man i literally been been in the dumps you know what i mean i been back in that depressing mood and it's just been very very hard things haven't been going my way um and it seems like i'm trying too hard you know what i mean so um in a much much better space um today this week um, my my goal and i'm not gonna let the demons get me this week you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure that i tackle this thing with a much with as much aggression as I need to um and I want to I want to stand on that all week this week so this episode is going to be good because I get to tell y'all a little bit about the pain that I'm experiencing right now and the pain that ignited this whole thing in the first place we're gonna hop all into that other than that man I um last week I, I went to another um I went, I went to the Buddhist center again and it was super good again. The instructor that was there the first time wasn't there this time, so it wasn't as good in my opinion, but it was still good. And we talked about nurturing others. We talked about putting other people before us when things are not going our way, right? Just imagine a time when you are going in a bad mood and your significant other or your best friend comes with great news and you try to bring him down bring them down bring her down like what why would you do that right your pain that you're experiencing in that moment can wait right let's have some gratitude and let's let's celebrate your other your partner or or your or the other person that you're talking to and, and 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 put them first sometimes like we don't have to i mean i'm all about self-love and i'm all about putting yourself first in general but we don't have to be like that all the time right a part of this thing is being able to give back to others like what can you do for the world not on not only what can you do for yourself but i think god really judges us on what we can do for the world what are we going to do for other people how are we going to make an impact and you can't just make an impact with yourself so being a part of someone else's happiness even when you're down is very necessary and, and i feel like it should be the way of life so we can uplift others and we're gonna our time is gonna come again so we don't have to like constantly bring other people down just because we're in the funk so that was a real good message that we talked about um i can't wait to go back again tomorrow super excited i mean man i don't think i've been excited like this is a kid you know what i'm saying like you know how you just kind of like be anticipating going somewhere like man that's how i am with this buddhist center so uh man just 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 excited about what's what we'll talk about tomorrow and i think the reason why a lot of these lessons hitting hard for me uh over there right now is because y'all know when i was in college my last semester in college i took a religion class and it talked about all of these different religions and you know at the time i kind of considered myself as a christian and when i was reading and actually learning about all of it it made me realize that hey man i never really chose this you know what i mean like i, I who made this decision for me you know what i mean like i'm sitting up here reading about it and associating myself with it instantly and then i had to ask myself like did i choose this like is 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 
like where did this come from and, and not to downplay it or anything but I just questioned who made this decision for me and then I started reading about the Buddhism and man it was so interesting man I was talking about um Prince Gautama or Siddhartha Gautama um he grew up over there near India and his 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 parents basically sheltered him and hid him from the world for 29 years and um, once he went out into the real world, he started seeing real life shit. He started seeing like people sick. He started seeing people dead. He started seeing people not happy, and it amazed him because he's he that was hidden from him him for twenty nine years. Now imagine. Now I want you to sit back and if you listen to this in your car, right wherever you are right now, imagine going twenty nine years of your life without knowing anything is bad. Like, without seeing any kind of suffering. Nobody broke, nobody heartbroken, nobody lost a job. Like, none of that for 29 years, right? And when he went out and seen these things, he went on his journey of enlightenment. And that's when he kind of found true happiness, right? And that's why I feel like pain is necessary because if he wouldn't have went through his suffering then he wouldn't have understood how good he had it those first 29 years. He wouldn't know what true happiness feels like because if you're happy all the time, if everything is always great, then like it's a normal feeling. Like it's nothing special about being a certain way all the time. So we just gonna dive on into the, the, the episode with that on, on that note. That's why pain is necessary. That's exactly why pain is necessary. Why would we want it to be sunny outside all the time, right? Like when it rains and it spoils our plan, then when it's a time for another vacation or another outing and it's sunny outside, now we're happy and we're in delight because why? It, it's a chance that it could rain, right? And that rain is the pain, right? A lot of times, and I'm going to tell you all a quick story one time. Um, when I used to live in New Orleans one time, so, man, me and my partner Cliff, we talk about this all the time. It's, it's super, super powerful, right? So, one one day I got out, you know, I, I pretty much work out in the mornings every day. And I've been doing this for years now. And, 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 and back then, I was running a mile. Every morning, like, soon as I wake up, I'll dash a whole thing of, of water down, a whole bottle of water, and I'll just go run. You know, i wash my face, of course. But I didn't do anything, no food, no music, no meditating. At that point in time, it was straight get up and get it. And on this particular day, I was super pumped up to, to run and because I was going through something at the time. Like, I was super pumped up to just kind of, like, clear my head space. And I was moving so fast that, that day that I didn't notice it was storming outside. So, well, not really necessarily storming, but it was thundering. And when I got outside, like, that's the first thing I saw, super cloudy skies and super and, and a lot of thundering. And I almost turned around. I'm like, man, I really wanted to run. So I started running. I'm like, maybe it won't rain. You know, so I went ahead, went for the run. Um, I got, like, a quarter mile in, and, y'all, it started pouring down. Like, I'm talking about crazy rain. And a part of me wanted to turn around. It was raining so bad. But I was like, uh, I'm already soaked, so why would I turn around now? I mean, if I turn around, I'm still going to be wet, so let's finish this run, baby. So I kind of ignored the rain and finished my run. And the crazy thing that happened was as soon as I got back to the almost back home, um, at the end of my run, the sun came out. The rain stopped completely, and the sun came out. And I finished my run, went on my porch, and, and what hit me was pain is temporary. Like, I was about to turn around and, 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 and not do my the run that I've been so excited to do. I was about to turn around and give up on it. And literally, I kept going. And as soon as I'm about to, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing, the sun come out. And metaphorically, to me, that just means keep going and you're gonna see you're gonna see the light you're gonna see the sunshine like don't worry about the rain 
You know what I mean? And I was super tired at the end of that run, but when I seen that sunshine, I'm like, that shit pumped energy in me. And it just was super liberating at that time, man. And that was, that's kind of how I live my life. Like, I'm gonna run through this rain. Like, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna look back. You know what I'm saying? I understand that life is a journey and life is quite literally, you're gonna have to go through things all the time. So I'm not gonna stop. Like, okay, yeah, I might consider it. I might think about giving up sometimes, but I'm gonna push myself every time. And that's what pain is, man. Pain is literally temporary, right? Just get through it. Just keep running, keep going. And right on the other side of it is is a super big blessing. It's a super big, like, blissful, liberating event right on the other side if you just push through. Don't give up. And that's why pain is so necessary. Pain, I think pain is here to kind of show us, like, where we need to improve at. Right. I think pain is necessary because it shows us what hurts. You know, what I mean, like what 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 is it like? What what what's what's wrong? Like without pain, we want to know what's wrong and we need to know what's wrong so we can elevate, fix it and move on to the next phase of our life. And pain is is, it comes in all forms of fashions. I I personally think that, you know, we're always going to experience, you know, smaller doses of pain all throughout life i don't think that'll ever end um i just think we get stronger on how to how we deal with them i mean with every lesson that we that we accomplish with every um pain or event bad thing trauma whatever in our life that we overcome we get stronger and stronger so when those things come again we literally then done that been there done that you know what i mean so like it's nothing and without that, we wouldn't be able to continuously get better and better and grow. Man, my, my, my motto um, is 1% better every day. I want to get 1% better every single day. I don't have to be 100% better tomorrow. I'm not striving to be 100% better tomorrow. That's not possible to be 100% better tomorrow. Nothing is overnight. So I just train myself to get 1% better every single day if and i fall off if i fall off that next day i'm just trying to get one percent better than that previous day right it happens you know what i mean so that's 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 very deep for me like it's temporary just keep going just 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 think about it just think about it right now think about it right now everything that came in your life to destroy you right we've all been through a lot of heartbreaks Right, y'all know. Let's let's just do before I get there. Before I get there. Before I get there. Let's talk about pain. Let's talk about different forms of pain. Um, heartbreak. That person you thought you was gonna be with for the rest of your life, y'all broke up. Um, boom, it's over with. You feel me? I um, you got you losing a job. You know what I mean? Like that that's what happened to me in the beginning of my journey. I, I I quite literally lost my job and that sent me down a spiraling, spiraling depression, the de- like depression syndrome, bro. Every time like that, it'd be it'd be killing me, y'all. Um, what's some other forms of pain? You know what I mean? Um like disappointment, right? Embarrassment, um pain when the obviously physical pain but just things that don't go our way, right? We want and we are, we're, we're literally put here to be creators, so we want and desire all of these different things. Nothing wrong with that, but to get there, you got to go through something every single time. So I say that to say, name, out of all of those different forms of pain, and, and, and y'all might know some others, name one of them that destroyed you. Like, we done went through... Literally, everything that was sent to destroy us, everything that was sent to tear us down, we won every single battle. <laughs> Quite literally, we 100%. We 100 and oh, Like, we undefeated. Everything that came, look, we still here. We still here. We still standing. You know, yeah, that somebody done broke up with you. You still here. You found somebody else and you happy as hell. You ain't even thinking about that person no more, right? You lost a job. You done bounced back with a better job, way more free time, bigger bag. Like, 
You remember when you first lost it? You thought, you literally thought that it was over. Like, you thought this was the end of you. You know what I mean? So everything that was sent to us to kill us, to make us weak, to destroy us, we overcame it. Every single one of them. So just understand how temporary pain is, right? When you when you step on your finger or or you hurt yourself physically, how long do that pain last? I it was a couple of uh like two months ago. I don't, well, I wasn't doing the podcast then, but I fell off my bike and I felt like I broke my arm, but I, I really just dislocated it, right? It, 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 I mean, it hurt that day, hurt a little bit the next day, but by day four or five, yeah, it was sore, but it wasn't hurting. Like, pain is temporary. It's going to go away. So you just got to sit through it. And pain for me, like, okay, this, let, me t- let me tell y'all how, how, this, how this, this, this story of these saw all started. I was working at this job. I'm not going to say that company name right now. One day I'll drop some name. Some of y'all know, if you close, close to me, you know. Um, I was in this place of contentment. Like, I was so happy with my life when I was working there. Like, I mean, of course, I didn't have everything I wanted, but I remember sitting in a sauna. Uh, 1 a.m., I, I I used to go to this boot camp at 530 at the hotel downtown New Orleans every, every like, Tuesday and Thursday or Monday and Wednesday, I think. And... I sat in the sauna, y'all, and literally I was thinking like, damn, like I got a job that I don't hate going to. Um, I got a girl that I'm in love with. Um, my kid is doing great. My family is healthy. Like life is good. You feel me? Like life is 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 life is good right now. You feel me? So with that being said, like. That's when everything went to shits. You feel me? Um, I think, yeah, I think the next week, if I'm not lying, I think that was like on a Friday when I had that moment in the sauna. Uh, the next week, y'all, like, I think it was, oh, I, I obviously for sure know what day it was, March 21st, 2019. Um, I go into work, man, and, 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 you know, I was getting these calls, like, a lot of people in my department was like getting laid off and I'm like, dang, they calling me, telling me, you know, and I'm having to relate the words to them. And it just didn't sit right with me, y'all. I got a hell of an intuition. I be kind of knowing. Each time I lost my job in the past, I kind of already seen it coming. You know what I'm saying? And it just didn't sit right that all these people that were doing great work was losing their job. And... I kind of thought I was good because I had just won um, financial coach of the year uh, with, within my, my within my region, and I was on a on a on a high at that time. Like I was feeling good, you know what I'm saying. So a part of me felt something was wrong, but I just thought I was just being crazy. Little do you know, I got that phone call too, man. That was like, oh, you gotta go. Like, and what happened was they made mistakes on their end, some paperwork mistakes, and all of our positions was funded. Um, that mistake that they made with the paperwork, all of our positions all of our positions went away, and I lost my job. And that was like the second job within two or three years that I had lost that wasn't my fault at all. I'm talking about career jobs. I'm talking about how I fed my family, bro. And I, I wasn't willing to go through that shit again i wasn't willing to go to another job and let another job put me in that position again so that's what ignited me to jump on this entrepreneurship journey and that was like devastating y'all like bro like that whole time like when i tell y'all pain when i tell y'all depression when i like no money like Oh man, like and food stamps not bad. Like don't don't get me wrong. Like, I had to apply for food stamps at the time. You gotta think about it. You're a college guy. You done went to college. You feel like you're successful, and now you're on. Uh, you getting paid. You getting paid un- unemployment, and you're on food stamps. And that was a real low part of my life. Like I was super depressed for a long time, and pain was super real. But during that pain at that time, that's what made me 
kind of understand a lot about myself and that's what kind of led me to be what I am today. Now, the crazy thing is since then, uh, I had went through depression again for a whole different thing because this different thing was like, I, like it was a complete 180. Like I'm going through depression again with all the money that I could possibly need and it was just me being attached to the wrong thing. And that was recent. That was last year. Y'all. I, I went through depression again by just I was putting other people before me uh, all the time. Like I, I didn't have I didn't have any time for myself. If somebody said, asked, or wanted anything from me, I was running to them and without even um, thinking about myself, straight up neglecting myself all the time, and it just took a toll on me. And I just kind of went through it. And so that led me to mental health journey, which I would have tackled then. So now, as I'm going through this pain that I'm experiencing right now, my mental health is on fire. You know, I, of course, of, of course, I have my little moments, but I'm able to be very conscious about what I'm going through. And I think that's the key to pain, right? We got to know how to deal with this pain when when we when we know when we get it right you got to be able to feel it you got to be able to understand that this is a process this is a journey and i think going through it so many different times better equip me for now to be able to deal with it right and right now um man i've been experiencing a whole bunch of councils uh council contracts this whole year me and my my, my guy Devin, bro we been getting cancellation after cancellation after cancellation and just imagine if you commission based, which we are, and all of these cancellations, man, like in real estate, we don't get paid until the deal close. So if that deal cancel, it don't matter how many months that we put in work, we don't get paid. And sometimes we spend money for the, the, the transaction, like on a listing, we have to pay for us, uh, pay for our signs, we have to pay for marketing, we have to pay for photography, like we spend money and just imagine doing all of that for nothing. So. Me and this guy had, I mean, we've been having cancellation after cancellation all year, so that's what I'm feeling now. Like, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling every bit of a commission-based job in an uncertain market. Like, I'm feeling all of that pain right now, and that's what's going on. But this time around, I'm able to know how to deal with it a lot better. Like, I think when I lost a job um, in 2019, I was depressed for like that whole summer. I mean, from March, that's when it happened, um, all the way until, ooh, I think the sun, like August, I, cause I had got licensed in real estate. So I mean, how many months that is? April, May, June, July, uh, it's five months. Five months and I had so many <laughs> bad, man, I bet somebody broke in my, man, I'm gonna tell y'all about that on the overcoming. Um, but I, I had a lot of things go on throughout that time, but man, that pain was super, super real. And that kind of destroyed me. But now that I am been working on my mental health all this time, like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm not breezing through this one, but I'm, I'm very conscious and I know how to deal with it. And that's what we're going to talk about next. We're going to talk about ways to kind of cope with pain and like what you can do while you're going through it. Tap into your hobbies. Tap into your hobbies. I mean, we all have those things that we like, healthy things. I'm not talking about, like, heavy on the drugs and, and, and y'all know, not, 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 not negative hobbies, positive hobbies, you know, um, like talking to your friends, talking to your family, right? It's big for me. You know, sometimes I do be in my shell and do be in a cave when I be going through it, but... Each time I talk to my friends, um, it made me feel better, literally. I mean, I can go down a list. Um, I'm, last week, uh, me, all, the guys, me, Jason, Siege, uh, Chad, we all got on a group FaceTime we normally do, and, man, I felt good, like, the whole call. Um, talking to Jaleesa, man, like, yeah, that making me feel better. Talking to Devin made me feel better, G. Like, I called my mom. Um, oh, let me back up. 
before that, Jordan sent me this slideshow of uh, her, like, basically, like, career goals, and she was saying she wanted to be a real estate agent, man. I'd like to think I got something to do with that, so that made me feel good. Um, talking to my mom, my auntie, my cousin Sweepy yesterday, right, made me feel good just to be chopping it up with my family, right? And... That's what we got to do. Like, I know we sometimes we don't feel like talking to people. I get it. I understand it. I know I don't like talking to people at times, when, especially when I'm going through things. But pick up that phone and phone a friend. I'm telling you, it's going to make you feel better. Um, eating good food, right? Like, go get yourself dinner. Get yourself a drinking dinner. Go get a real nice meal. Like, don't worry about how much it costs, you know, if you can afford it. Like, Go get that. Go do that. Make yourself feel better. Treat yourself. Uh, go out in nature, right? We all know. I, I bet you a lot of us on this podcast right now listen to rain music when we go to sleep or listen to the ocean or we love the beach, right? Like, go out in nature, man. That's one of my favorite things that I picked up lately is just going out and getting grounded, right? Taking my shoes off, getting that grass, sitting in that grass, meditate by the lake, you know what I'm saying, just being in nature, go out in nature, it gonna make you feel good, um, meditating, like I was just saying, I go to the park and meditate, like, sit there and just kind of take it all in, you know, just think about it, right, don't run from your pain, literally sit there, meditate, think about it, think it through, you know what I'm saying, like, I know meditating comes, um, it sounds a little weird, some people look at it as, as, as this crazy, um, little, I guess, sacred thing to do like I, I don't know but just check it out it's not what you think it is right it's just literally sitting there forming a relationship with your thoughts literally that's all it is like your thoughts and your emotions are gonna run on autopilot if you don't sit there and listen to them talk to them man you got thoughts man you not your thoughts right who who do you think making those thoughts happen right them like you not your thoughts you run the thoughts you oversee the thoughts right so Meditating will help you be a master of your own thoughts, and then once you master your thoughts, then what follows right after that? Your emotion. So imagine a time when you could literally control the way you feel. You can make yourself happy. You can make yourself um, over. Like if you got a little pain, you know how to like make that go away. Like so, meditate, uh, exercising, right? Go out, go for a walk, run. Go, get, go to the gym and do some, like, get active, get fit, feel some burn somewhere else. Don't just think about the pain that's, and the burn that's in your head, in your heart. Man, burn that muscle, man. Burn, go, go, go out and exercise. And the last but the best thing, in which we all have to do better at, is practicing gratitude. Like, God don't want you to just kind of, like, be thankful when things are good. When, when, when things are bad, show that same gratitude. So to show the exact same gratitude, because I'm sure it's some things that you can you can find that you are happy about. I mean, I know that the pain still will prevail. Like I know that the pain is still going to be there, but just take out a few minutes of your day, even if it's five minutes. Just 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 say some 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 things that you're grateful for, and that pain will temporarily go away. You know, and you just you you you, you might just. Make the pain go away with your gratitude. Who knows? Just just do it. Um, another thing that we can do is just take a break, right? If it's a relationship, if it's some relationship pain that you're experiencing, just take a break. Like, take a break from that person. Um, take a break from work, right? Take a break from whatever that is that's giving you this, this pain. Just let it go for a little minute. Chill out. You know, you're significant. Oh, y'all already beefing. So what's taking a week away, not talking to them, what, what that's going to hurt? Just give yourself some space. Like, give yourself some time to think clear for a moment. If you sit there in that pain all the time, good luck. You know what I'm saying? Like, good luck. So take a break. Um, and the last thing, my favorite, one of my favorites, is to reassure yourself and reassess the situation. Like, be patient with yourself. Like, just take a moment. That's why it's good to meditate. To just sit down, chill, take a break, 
and reassure yourself that everything is going to be okay. All right, tell yourself that you done been through this before. You done got through everything that came your way. Be patient with yourself, right? You feeling pain, you're going to feel that pain. It's going to go away, though. Be patient. Just be patient with yourself. Take your time, like, like be calm with yourself. Like, slow down and be good. Like, reassure yourself that everything is going to be okay. And how we do that is by reassessing the situation, thinking it through, what we could have done differently, what we'll do next time. Right? You ever thought about something so much and something felt so bad at some point in time it ended up being laughable because all you had to do was do something else? And you done put yourself through all of that misery, you feel me, all of that pain, when all you had to do was just one thing. Right? After it was all said and done, you laugh about it. So reassess the situation. Don't wait until it's all said and done to reassess it and, and think it think it over. Like, do it while you're going through it, because you might just find that solution. So reassure, reassure yourself that everything is going to be cool, everything is going to be okay, and you do that by reassessing the situation, you feel me? Um, and that's pretty much it today about pain. Like, I know that's something we all go through, so I know um, that it's, it's a hot topic. Right, we all experience that pain. We all know what that pain um, do to us. So let's just talk about it, man. Opening up, opening up a space to talk about what we're going through. Let's not hold it in. Um, let's share, man. Let's be vulnerable. Let's let's find somebody, somebody, somebody in your life, right? Some friend that you have, or sometimes even a stranger, like a therapist or something. Find somebody to go talk about this pain with. Don't hold it in. Promise me you won't do that. So as y'all know, we're going to wrap up the episode with a gratitude session. Um, I'm grateful for my friends lately. They've been showing up and showing out. Like, oh, God, like, my friends lately, my family, my friends lately, man, they've been, they been, they been by my side. Like, as I'm going through what I'm going through, they, they there. You feel me? Like, ain't nobody judging me. Ain't nobody... Like, making me feel like I shouldn't be going through this. Like, my family and friends are real MVP right now. Um, I'm grateful for this episode. I'm super grateful for this episode because I know it hit home for a lot of people. I'm super grateful to have had a productive day today. Like, Man, I was going through fire last week and this week, like, man, my Monday, this Monday is so different from last Monday. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> man, got to be grateful for that. Um, and I'm overall just grateful for me. I'm grateful for um, how far I've come over the years, right? It's been times where I thought... Um, Things will never get better for me at times. Like, I'm grateful for her, how far I've come. Even, even, even where I'm at right now. Like, even, even, even in this moment where business need to pick up. You feel me? But I'm grateful for for this. I'm grateful for this process. I'm grateful for like being able to have started meditating, so I could like feel all of this right now and kind of control it in a way. Right, kind of control the way I feel about this in a way. I know exactly what to do to make myself feel better versus where I used to be in other times. So I'm super grateful for me, man. I'm the real MVP. Y'all the real MVP. We the real MVP. We all, if we move as one, we all going to continue to be the real MVP. And if you want to leave uh, something that you're grateful about, man, check out that link in the description. Check out that link in the description and leave a, a little voicemail. You don't have to show your face or anything, but but leave a little message on something that you're grateful for. Do that for me, man, so I can air it on the next episode. I really want to take this gratitude, this 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 gratitude session at the end of my episodes. I really want to take it serious. So do that for me, man. Show me some support. And while you there, uh, leave me a rating. Leave me a comment, man. When y'all leave a comment, people get on here when they see my. My podcast pop up on their iPhone, 
um, a comment that says this episode was very good. And if you leave some details, that's going to entice that person to go ahead and listen. And if I can get them to listen, then I think I can get their attention. And y'all think I'm cool, right? I think I'm cool. I think I talk about some real relatable things. So, yeah, man, I feel like I'll keep them. And eventually, uh, we're going to bring on that financial literacy piece to the show. And now all of us are going to be talking about mental health and coming up ways to make hella bread. So leave a comment, man. Like and share this if you see it on social media. Uh, share this. Send this link to three of your friends. All right? Y'all know three is like my favorite number. So send it to three friends. Everything come in threes. Like three life cycles. Um, I had three different topics that I wanted to talk about tonight, you know, um, three. So send this to three people, you feel me? Like, send this to three people that might listen to it. Don't just send it to the first three people, send it to three people. Do me a favor, but I'm kidding, man. Y'all, if you send it to somebody, man, I appreciate it. But, man, you ain't got to do nothing you want to do because this is our life and we run it. We co-create our lives, y'all. That pain that you're feeling is temporary. Just keep going. Keep going. And it's going to be okay on the other side. Until next time, it's your boy D-Saw with another episode of Money Talk Mondays where we talk about the real bag, which is the bag in our head, the bag our in our mental space. Right? Holla at y'all next week. Peace.